Hello, and welcome to another episode of EasyML Demo. In this demo, I will be showing you how EasyML's advanced augmented intelligence feature has helped breast cancer patients. Breast cancer is one of the leading causes of death among women. Unfortunately, the statistics are staggering. One in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer in the United States, and one in three of those will become metastatic. African American women are 40% more likely to die from breast cancer than Caucasian women. We need to better understand this disease so we can treat it and save lives. So in this demo, I will show you what are the common conditions of breast cancer patients that help a patient survive versus the common conditions that lead to the death of a breast cancer patient. This anonymized data set is from a premier cancer research institute in the United States. Before I show you the data set, I wanted to mention that there is a lot of interesting content, videos, white papers, webinars, and etc. on EasyML website, including a quick overview of the EasyML platform. So if you want a quick tour of the website or platform, please visit our YouTube channel. I will put the link in the comments section. So let's start off by defining augmented intelligence. Augmented intelligence emphasizes that AI technologies have been developed specifically to help humans rather than to replace them. It does this by providing insights that are derived from the data that humans can use to enhance their judgments and ultimately be more accurate with their assessments and predictions. Augmented intelligence improves patient care quality and provides information on how healthcare providers and vendors can improve. For instance, AI algorithms can analyze a patient's symptoms and vital signs, compare it with the history of the patient, that of her family, and those of the millions of other patients it has in store, and help her doctor by giving suggestions of what the causes might be. And all of that can be done in a matter of a few minutes. This can help in early detection and prevention of dangerous diseases such as cancer, as well as other rare diseases and possibly help save lives by sounding the alarm before the patient reaches the point of no return. EasyML's augmented intelligence feature is ahead of the curve. Recognized by Gartner and other industry analysts and is helping healthcare providers make data-driven decisions and answer difficult questions to improve patient care and quality of life. In this demo, I will show you how. So let's start with an explanation of the data set. This data is from a Breast Cancer Research Institute. HIPAA compliance ensures privacy and confidentiality, so you can notice that there is no personal identifiable information of the patients. There are only anonymized IDs in the first column. The point of this data set is to show the survivability of breast cancer patients. We are given predictors or columns for each patient to get a more accurate prediction. For instance, the second column shows the number of lymph nodes infected. And the third column shows NPI, or the Nottingham Prognostic Index. Let me show you what NPI stands for. NPI is defined as a way to determine the prognosis or likely outcome following breast cancer surgery. A formula for NPI is provided here using the size of the index lesion, number of lymph nodes, and grade of the tumor. If the score is between 2 to 2.4 inclusive, there is a 93% chance that the patient will survive after 5 years. Between 2.4 to 3.4, there is a 85% chance. And between 3.4 to 5.4, there is a 70% chance. And a score greater than 5.4 means that the patient only has a 50% chance to survive after 5 years. Going back to the data set, the other columns include cellularity, or the number of cells, if the patient uses chemotherapy, if the patient uses hormone therapy, their sex, which is mostly female, their age, and many more. The outcome variable, or what we are trying to predict, is their vital status. Is the patient alive? And did they beat the disease? Or did they succumb to breast cancer or some other factor and unfortunately died? There's a whole bunch of data here, so we need to make sure that this data is clean or doesn't suffer from biases and etc. before we start building the model. How does augmented intelligence help us do that? I am going to demonstrate by taking this dataset and uploading it onto the EasyML platform. 
I will use the graphical user interface and not EasyML's advanced APIs that are mainly used for enterprise to show you how easy EasyML makes it to use augmented intelligence to mine the data for insights. EasyML is a transparent platform, so it actually provides explanations for all of its insights. If you have any questions or are confused about any step in the process, EasyML also provides a help button that is the question mark in the top right. Say you are struggling and struggling and struggling and then you click the button. Okay, everything is fine now because EasyML explains what everything on this page is. So you can make your appropriate choice. On this page, it tells you why you should go with the power user choice. Typically, the machine is right, so we will accept the recommended response. Now we will upload the data set and we can do this by clicking on upload training data and we are prompted with many options. But I am going to select upload a file and choose the data set that we were just viewing. This page shows our data set and it is the one we want so I will hit next. Some data sets include an identifier column that is used to identify each row. This data set does have an identifier column which is the patient ID. Next, EasyML allows us to remove columns that we don't want to use in the prediction or do not help with the prediction. In this case, we will remove the OS underscore months, OS underscore status, and sample ID. We hit next and EasyML allows us to change the data type of each of the values of each of the columns. EasyML automatically detects and suggests the data types that we should use, so we don't need to change anything. On the next page, we are given some statistics about our data set, such as the maximum, mean, median, and minimum values. On the next page, we are asked if we want to impute data or add missing data. For this data set, it is unnecessary, so we will continue with no. The null values were removed. We are then asked if we want to remove outliers, and we will go with the recommended response of yes but no outliers were present anyway, so we will move on. This is our process data that we can scroll through. On the next page, we are asked to shuffle training data, and we will go with the recommended yes. For the outcome variable, we will indicate that we want the vital status column, because if you remember, this is the column that tells us if the patient survived. And this is what we are trying to predict. On this last screen, we are given some information about our final data set. This is a smaller representative data set from a much larger data set. But EasyML is very versatile and can work with extremely large data sets with millions of rows and columns to smaller data sets that might only have a couple thousand or hundred rows. We hit next and this page allows us to visualize the data into a 2D or even 3D graphic. We will skip this for time's sake, but it is a very powerful tool. We are now done with the data set and we can move on to modeling. We will hit yes, and we are now prompted with three model types to choose from. We can do predictive models that allow the machine to give an outcome based on new test data, time series models that can forecast future or past values given values for a certain range, or in our case, augmented intelligence to see if there are any hidden biases in the data that we need to be aware of. Let's choose augmented intelligence. And EasyML shows us the type of ML problem this is, which is problem type classification with a categorical outcome. We can hit next for the next few parts and trust the machine. We will not remove dependent predictors, we will not add numeric derived predictors. Now, EasyML is taking some time to build the model further, and voila, EasyML has identified all the predictors that influence the outcome. So, HER2SNP6, radiotherapy, age, and inferred menopausal state are all very important. After we hit next, we are greeted with the dataset one more time before the model is completely built. Once we hit next, EasyML will take some time to build the model, but this time it is relatively quick because we are using a smaller representative dataset. 
We are then greeted by the augmented intelligence results. The first column tells us a specific result, and the second column tells us the conditions to achieve that result. Let's look at the first row's insight by double-clicking. If the NPI is greater than 4.10863 and less than 6.36, and the positive nymph loads examined is greater than 7.5 and less than 45, then EasyML is predicting that there is a 0 0.60 chance that the patient will die of the disease. The 60% chance comes from this patent-pending confidence score. We can check that this result makes sense using this table on the NPI wiki. An NPI greater than 4.1 gives a similar survival rate. Therefore, the insights make sense. We can go through the rest of these rows here and make sure that the insights are telling us the right outcome that we would expect. Now let's see what the insights say about patients that survived. Let's search for living in the outcome column and look at the second row, for example. There is a 62% confidence score that the patient will live if the number of positive lymph nodes is around zero. They have an NPI within 2.062 and 3.5672, and their age at diagnosis is between 21.93 to 62.48 years. This makes sense and doesn't seem like our data has bias. These insights make sense with the outcome. The confidence score is what makes it actionable. So the first column has a confidence score of 0.65, which means that it would be good enough to act on. But maybe if we look at one on the next page with a lower confidence score, like this 0 0.34, it is saying that NPI is around 4 to 5, and there are less than or equal to 7.5 lymph nodes. Yet you are living. Hmm, this sounds a little contrary to what an expert might expect. That is why EasyML provides such a low confidence score and is saying that they are not too sure of these insights so that you are not misled by these lower score insights. Do not consider them, but the high score insights are spot on. Another question you may have now is how do we know we are not missing out on any influential predictors? Well, just using our judgment, it seems like we are not missing them because if your highest confidence score, say, was 0.4 instead of 0.65, then it means that we are probably missing some influential predictors from your data. If we included them on our spreadsheet, the machine would be more confident of what insights would lead to a patient surviving. With this confidence score, EasyML is telling you that the data does not suffer from biases and has most of the influential predictors. Now you can go ahead and build your models, and you will be confident that they will be actionable. Some of the key takeaways from this demo are that augmented intelligence is vital because it mines insights from data to drive business processes through data's objectivity for better performance and competitive advantage, even according to Gartner. You can use it to mine comprehensive data insights automatically, upgrade your expert systems, do prescriptive analytics, detect data bias, and so on. For implementation of augmented intelligence, seek professional help to get started. For identification of the correct platform and architecting the data to use the APIs in evaluation of the results. If it is engineered well, it will integrate soundly into your workflow. All that effort will pay off. This was a demo for the healthcare use case. EasyML platform has implemented many use cases in many industries. Please visit our YouTube channel for more use cases and demos across these industries. I have included links for some of the demos in the description below. Feel free to contact us at support at easyml.com or go to our website www.easyml.com.